Hello and welcome. Today we're going to set up the FTP server, which is included inside of FreeBSD. You won't require any installation, more you just need to set it up as you want it. So to start with, I'm just going to clear my screen to get a better view. First of all, we need to enable the server to be able to start. So uh, just use VI to edit the um, etcrc.conf. This is the file which includes uh, uh, where, where you add things that should be able to start and they will auto start if they are in this uh, in this file. So just use ftpd underscore enable equals yes with double quotations. Write and quit. Now what you just need to make to use the command etc rc.t ftpd and start. This brings up the ftpd server. So let's start and have a look. To start, we can have a look at this. I'm using from the window side. I'm going to use um, FileZilla to show you the connection here. I think I put it over here. And then I'm connecting with my user Plex. I already entered the IP address, username, and the password. All right. There is just one little problem here. Uh, well, it's depending on if you see it as a problem, but um, if you want users not being able to look inside of address directories, we need to chrote the accounts. This is what I mean. If you look here, user plex, I'm also able to enter the user test, which um, it's uh, perhaps people don't want to, to browse other uh, FTP accounts. All right, so uh, to start with, uh, when you enable the uh, FTPD for FreeBSD, when you log in with users, if you want an, a user account, you simply add one with add user. And when you add the user account, they are automatically connected to FTP unless you remove them from the service. We will show how to do this. So first of all, I want to make Plex not able to see the user test. It's very simple. You just need to, to add one file because this doesn't exist by default. So just use the command vi. It will create the file automatically then. It should be called etc ftp ftp ch root. Now you just add the users you want to have locked inside of their home directories. For example, if I want to lock user plex, I do like this. If I want to lock user test, I do like this. And if I want to lock an entire group, I just make an at. Uh, let's imagine that I have a group called web clients, for example. All the users that are with the web client group will be locked in their home directories then. But the notice to add a group, just make an at before the name and users just enter the name. All right. We write and uh, save this one. Now I'm going to disconnect from the server and connect again. Now you see it's different. I cannot go out from my home directory. This is the ch road, what I mean. So now I'm locked inside of my own directory. That's, uh, I guess, how many people would like to have their FTP services. And I forgot to say one thing. Remember that FTP are sent in clear text, the passwords, unless they are using an SSL connection. But this one is not using it. So be careful and do not log in with any road accounts over the FTP. Instead, use SFTPD, uh, I mean SFTP. You can find that tutorial on www.bsdtutorial.org under the user menu, uh, not user menu, under the free BSD menu, I mean. And then you see under the um, uh, remote connection, you have the SFTP tutorial there. Okay, so let's say that I want to lock out userplex. I don't want him to, to be inside of the... Uh, uh, to be inside of the uh, FTP anymore, or if you add a user that you don't want to have FTP connection, it's very simple. You just need to add, uh, to, not to add, to edit this file, etc, FTP users. And we go all the way down. Control D is very simple to press in VI. It takes you down very quick to the end of the file. I, op I press O key to be able to write a new line here. Then I write Plex. And you, you can do the same thing here. Uh, before I save, I do like this. If I would like to, to make an entire group not being able to log in, it's just to do the at sign. And uh, 
we can for example call it no FTP users they would not be able to uh, to connect them okay now let's see Plex should not be able to log in now I try to connect you see could not connect the server so um, this is um, the way you do if you don't want users to be able to log in to the FTP and um, if you just remember that uh, if you want him to log in again it's very simple just uh, go back to the etc FTP user file and delete the user you want to log in again like that and I should be able to log in again so this is very simple we don't need to make um, a big story about how this works it's uh, it's very simple it's uh, and it's not so secure to be honest since they send password in clear text so be careful when using this but FTP normal FTP actually works uh, good for if there are accounts that don't have so maximum security behaviors like normal web clients like if you're having a web hotel uh, web hotel perhaps there are some users like yeah they are making normal sites they have no dangerous to lose their accounts or if they get hacked it's very simple to restore a backup for example so I guess this service is uh, most used for normal web hotel and uh, public FTP places and things like that all right this was everything hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials